The Lower Columbia College Head Start ECAP program is a comprehensive preschool program for children from low-income families and for children who have special needs. The program provides children with activities that help them grow mentally, socially, emotionally, and physically. The staff members offer children love, acceptance, understanding, and the opportunity to learn and experience success and self-worth. In the next few minutes, you'll get an in-depth look at this essential program. What's really unique about our Head Start and ECAP program is that we just value the parent as the most important educator of their children. Our program is also divided into five components. One of those components is our education components, where children come to our centers for three and a half hours a day, three to four days a week, and are part of a really high quality preschool environment that focuses on literacy and language and vocabulary and pre-math skills, social studies, science, and especially that social emotional piece that's absolutely critical for children as they enter into the public school system. We do education screenings, developmental screenings on every one of our children so that if there is an issue early in the year, we can get the services that are needed for them through the local school districts. Abigail has been learning so many social emotional skills and that's actually one of her goals so we work on it a lot at home and just to come here and see her working on it um, just with simple things like being able to express herself um, she wasn't really doing that before she's doing it really good now we've had a relationship with the Head Start program for the five years that I've been in the building and I'm the building principal so the director and I get together every year and talk about how we can use the Head Start and ECAP programs as a place for special ed kids to be able to have role models who are typically developing. I love my job. I love every part of it. It doesn't feel like a job to me. And then when parents come to me and say, thank you for helping me, you know, I wasn't able to get my child to the dentist and we were able to advocate for them. I mean, it's just worth every day you have you're thankful when you go home every day. Another component of our program is our nutrition component. Every classroom, every child receives a breakfast, a snack, and lunch um, throughout the day. There's nutrition assessments that are completed on every child and parents receive nutrition information for their children as well throughout the course of the year. Part of nutrition in our program is toothbrushing after the children eat. What we're trying to do, again, is to develop those healthy habits. We are part of USDA, which has certain requirements. We meet those. We serve everything family style, so children are learning good manners, you know, and how to pass food, learning more about food. And so it's that exposure that we're trying to, to have the children get exposed to different foods, as well as the parents, and to see different ways that they can prepare them to, again, so that that carries on into their own homes and into their, their lives. Other component is our health component. And that health component is really fabulous because it focuses families on connecting to a medical and a dental provider. Every child before they leave our program is up to date on immunizations. Every child has insurance before they leave our program. And we um, also do health, um, screenings, we're looking at hearing and vision, so we can detect those issues early on in the year so these children are referred to the resources that they need to uh, be referred to, to to help them with specific medical issues. What we do is we do screenings, which are developmental screening, a hearing screening, and a vision screening within 45 days of the time that they enter our program. And so then what we're able to do is once we get those results is to look and determine if they need a more formal assessment and then to work with the parent to obtain any needed aids such as hearing aids, glasses, um, maybe they need um, special education services or it could be also uh, mental health services. You know that's really the heart of Head Start is working with the parents so that they're connecting up with resources within the community that that will carry them into the rest of their lives. When I look at these uh, three, four, and five-year-olds, I look at them uh, beyond just the teeth. I look and beyond just the oral health. Because really what our goal is, 
is to intercept all kinds of problems early before they begin because prevention is just a meniscal cost where uh, repair and uh, later on is much more expensive and it becomes a lifetime expensive and it really relates very uh, specifically to their overall health and well-being. I do see a lot of patients that uh, are with Head Start. We do see a difference between the kids that have are enrolled in Head Start and other kids because they have follow through and that's something that we appreciate. Well I must say that I just love the Head Start program. As a pediatrician we have such common goals. Uh, my goal when I care for a patient is to be sure that they're healthy and then ready to learn. And uh, so when I talk about Head Start, I just think of that as a great partner to achieve that uh, for children. But not just for children, but for every child that I see, that if they would have the opportunity of Head Start, I would feel so confident that they will end the school year healthy. Parents are the first teachers and I always add, and the best teachers. If we can just come alongside them and, um, and maybe share some better ways to do things. The next component of our program is parent involvement. And as I said, we really honor the parent as the most important educator of their children. And we have all kinds of ways for parents to be involved in our program. One of those ways is by actually volunteering in the classroom. And it gives them a, a really good idea of what kind of um, activities we do with children that they can take into the home and do those same activities to enhance their child's development. And then parents have an opportunity to be on our policy council board, which is made up of parents and community members. That's, that's a lot of power for our parents to, to be able to um, give input in those kind of major decisions that really is their program for their children. One of the great things about having a connection between a Head Start program and the college is many of the mothers and fathers of those families find their way back to Lower Columbia College so that they can find uh, a career direction or better training and, and learn how to be better families. So it, it's, it's a wonderful program for building children but, but, but particularly for building families also. We know from study about early childhood education programs that kids that are involved in it are less likely to be in trouble with the law are more likely to graduate from high school and more likely to be working and solid parents when they're in their 20s and 30s. And that's really one of the differences that Head Start can provide to a community. It's really that step forward, that step up, that Head Start for children. Probably about 15 years ago, I started to recognize uh, the importance of early education uh, for kids. Because um, I started realizing that the hundreds of people that I've arrested or investigated, the majority of them did not have high school educations, and the vast majority of them uh, couldn't even read. You know, if we could just get to kids early enough, get to families, young families early enough, uh, so by the time they come to preschool or Head Start or, or kindergarten, they are already prepared. Another component of our program is the mental health component. The mental health component, um, we're very excited through the United Way uh, grant, we received funding to be able to contract with a mental health specialist to help children that maybe have um, social emotional behavior issues. Head Start and the mental health system work together to help those families heal, uh, to, to be able to learn and, and to become successful in today's environment. The children that uh, leave Head Start, we often think about, gosh, what, what, are they, what happens to them when they enter the public schools? What happens to them is that they come in at a level of sophistication and knowledge and involvement that puts them at, at level with their peers, and in many cases, ahead. When my son came to Head Start, he was a very shy boy, and he didn't talk with his classmate or his teacher for a long time. I was really, really worried thinking then he had a problem. If I didn't have Head Start, he didn't come Head Start, it will be older with these problems and I didn't know uh, how to help him. And I really think then, if he didn't get that help at that time, he could be 
right now behind in all the classes and everything because he will continue with that that thing and, and he learned how to feel comfortable to talk with other people and now oh my god you cannot stop him he's talking and talking and talking <laughs> yeah what else can i tell you i love him stuff <laughs> 441 children are now, and their parents are now served by Head Start and ECAP in Cowlitz County. And that's remarkable because it's really building a future for our community that we couldn't find any other way. <laughs>